Welcome back to Spitball and Sports. How's it going, Scott? Good. What's going on, brother? Nothing. Nothing much, man. Just regrouping here. Regroup. You know? <laughs> I you know, love that. Hey, what are you okay. going to do, dude? I don't know. You know what's bad is I'm glad I figured it out because it was going to the, to the politics podcast page. And we don't want to be there. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to be there. No, I don't want anything to do with that shit. Me neither, because that would just be – that's already ugly. I'm half tempted to pull, pull, right now. pull the plug. Um, <laughs> let's see. Chris says, hi, hey, Chris. That's okay. our friend from um, Falls Con Anywhere, which got a pretty cool guest coming up. Big John Studd's son, Sean Studd, who's a wrestler himself. Looks just like him. He'll be uh, joining awesome. us. I always, he was one of my favorite villains, man. Oh, I know, wasn't he? He was – he looked – he was like, to me, I forgot where he was. I think he was from, and it was weird. I think he was from Washington, D.C., they said. But he looked like he'd have been much better if he was from the South or something. Like, oh, he fit the, he fit the South image. I mean, yeah, he looked like a like a redneck, really. A big yeah. redneck. Alabama would have been perfect, you know. He uh, just had that intimidating. He was an intimidating-looking dude. I know. I, he was great. So, dude, real quick, on yeah. that note, I heard Shred and Reagan today were talking about wrestlers. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about, do you know that, that, that big, fat Samoan type dude? What the hell was his name? Come on, Chris. What years? Like nineties, two thousand. Uh, Rikishi? No, uh, it was an age. That'd have been too soon. Yeah. Right? Anyway, they were talking about this. I think it's the guy that's been in the Adam Sandler movies and shit. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I remember. Anyway, they were talking about him. People would come up to him and say wrestling's fake. Uh huh. Yes, it was Yokozuna. I'm sorry. Oh, wasn't there it? You go. Yes, Chris it was got Yokozuna. it. Yokozuna. They were like, dude, he was all mellow and everything. And they, the one wrestler was talking. He was like, yeah, we were out. Somebody said that uh, wrestling was fake. And uh, he grabbed the dude and had a hold of his eyes. Says he was going to pop his eyeball out and eat it if the dude didn't go away or something. And then another guy, he just randomly. Because he said something to him, just bit a chunk of his back out and spit it at him. <laughs> oh fuck! Well, anyway, we can move on. But that is, I heard that this morning, and I'm like, I had to stop working for a minute, listen. And I'm like, this dude's a lunatic. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know the one thing I'll say, it maybe that you know this. I'm just saying this because I the results are definitely probably they're they're set, but mm-hmm. obviously they're really getting hurt. They're they're bleeding for real. Yeah, they're doing absolutely. All uh, they're pretty good athletes in their own right, you know. It's a very violent soap opera. Yeah, very violent. Yeah. All right. I want to let's do the let's do the finals first, and then I want to talk to you about PGA golf. Okay. Um, the NBA goes tonight. It's game. What is it? Game four. It's two games to one. Um, the Nuggets really beat Miami pretty good on Miami's home court. So here's game four. Jokic had 32. Murray had 33. Butler played well, 28. Adebayo is still playing. So Love that guy. <clears throat> Scott, looking at this series, I, I don't think the Nuggets I, – I think the game that they lost even, they probably could have won. They were only one shot away from going to, you know, um, overtime. So I, I still think they're going to end it in five. I think they're going to win tonight, Denver. What do you think? I, Denver's going to win. Yeah. I have zero doubt in my mind they're going to win. I mean, I love this. I love Miami's story. I really do. Jimmy Butler's awesome. I love everything yeah. about him. I, I really do. I think he's. A, they're very. It's an admiral group. Ed. It's a very admiral group of people that, you know, they're they're playing together as a team. I know Jimmy Butler's getting all the credit, but I've heard more than I haven't. Right. That mm-hmm. they they're very unselfish. Yeah. Dude, they're the eight seed. They weren't even supposed to be there. And to be in the championship, I know everybody's going to go, well, and Jimmy Butler's not going to want to hear it because that's what he heard last year. You made it, which it's pretty impressive that they did. I mean, really, because they're playing a fucking giant. I cannot even believe that Denver lost that game, to be honest with you. I expected it to end in four, truthfully. And I know people give them credit, Miami, which I do too. I almost wonder if Denver let them win just so to make it a series. I swear to you, man. I mean, I only say that is because Denver could have easily won that game. Well, then they can go home and win it in five, and that would be a story because Denver's I mean, never won. I'm not saying that that's what they did. Right. Because but. nobody has – I was listening to a guy talk today, an NBA pundit, and he was talking on, uh, on the Pat McAfee show, and he, said, and he said, and I've heard it multiple times in different shows during the week, dude, there's no answer for the guy. 
Jokic. Yeah. You can't. There's just I, if you stop him from scoring, he just passes. So if you're just going to let him score and that's going to be your game, it doesn't work either. Like I I, 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 seriously, the guy's unbelievable, and he doesn't yeah, get they, tired. Yeah, because I know they said. You know, what I mean? game, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Game two, he scored forty-two points, but Jamal Murray only had like sixteen. So that was your... Jamal Murray. I mean, look that dude. Ugh. No, last game he had thirty-three, and and Jokic had thirty-two, and he's unselfish. Yeah, he's the most yeah. unse- Jokic is the most unselfish superstar I've ever seen. You, you know? know, you want to hear something about him? Hmm. Unselfish. He doesn't do interview. He doesn't do media. He doesn't do commercials. They said all he wants to do is play basketball and go home. He doesn't want any of the other crap. So they said that's one of the reasons that they pos- po- probably one of the reasons he's not on. They're not on TV as much, even though he's the biggest star in the league. That's why, because he's not playing the game. So and he goes back to Serbia. And yeah. That's where his home is. And did you see his brothers are? His brothers are huge, and they're always trying to fight in the crowd. Those guys. Oh, really? are, oh yeah. In the last game, I heard the announcer says, uh, "Oh, there's uh, you know Jokic's brother. Looks like the Miami fans are trying to fight him, but you know they're they're huge. They're as big as him, and they're lunatics." One time they tried to charge the court. I think it was against Phoenix last year, or whatever it was. They they like they yeah. Those guys fight fight everyone. Can you imagine they're coming from Serbia? And they're big dudes like him. Yeah, they're huge. Yes. You're shitless some seven footers coming at me, dude. That's like trees. And they're from Serbia, right? Whole different work. It's a not even not nothing like here. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing. Those guys come here and they got it's gotta be culture shock a little bit. So they're probably they're not used to people talking shit. Dude, like, they would bite your ear off in a New York yeah. minute. Yeah, why not? They, they <laughs> yeah, right, yes. They don't and that's, care. That's just for jokes. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they don't put those guys in the in a luxury box. It really surprised me if they let them be in the crowd, but they're always in the crowd. That they don't play basketball. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was with that. If they were ever any good, or if they ever he played, brother, right? They're pretty big. I mean, I don't know. If they're big, but their brother is ridiculous because he Joe, he it looks effortless, doesn't it? Like he's he, he doesn't look he's really moving. I mean, they were pointing it out on shows, and I've watched and I watched it because I was watching something the other night. In like the third, fourth quarter, those big dudes are usually pretty gassed. You yeah. know what I mean? They're kind of trucking, but not, he's not. He doesn't slow down. You know what I'm saying? No, Here, I'm- no, he doesn't. He doesn't slow down at all. He's he's unbelievable, and I am. Uh, I'm a big fan. I wasn't before because I really didn't. I and I pretty tuned in on what's going on, and I just never seen him. I just never really. You know, I see you see more of Giannis, you see Embiid, you see all that, and or even Anthony Davis, you see more of, and you don't really want to see him because you want that guy to be good. Oh, no, well, because soon as somebody bumps, ah! yeah, I know. <laughs> and he gets carted out on a wheel. Well, I always heard everybody, and until I started, until I watched that playoff run with the Lakers, and I watched him do that, and I'm like, dude, like, yes, how, how, how did how did he get so hurt on that yeah. play? He actually, he actually he broke could, his leg. He could be the greatest of all. He really, the size he has, he's he's probably he the, been that way. Always that? since he got into the NBA, has he always been that that way, like China, the way he is? Ah, that's a good question because I really don't know. I know he was dominant in college. He comes here. It. it I don't. I would like to know when the first injury happened. He he's had some big ones. I think as that as the you know. As those years have gone on, he's just become more and more gun shy. Like to the fact he's preparing for it to be the be all end all injury, and that's why. You, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And then they, <laughs> and they don't help any by bringing out you know the wheelchair or the hell it was. What was <laughs> yeah, they cover him in like a thing my grandmother crocheted, and there he goes. It's ridiculous. They don't help. It's almost like they're making fun of him. I know they almost make it worse, right? Uh-huh. That one time, and then we'll go to the other to the NHL. I don't know if you saw it. It was that night on TNT, Shaq and Barkley are there with Eddie Johnson. And I can't, who's the other guy? Who's the other? Uh, Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith is trying to talk to Eddie Johnson right. about the, about the game. And then they go to, they go to Shaq and he can't stop laughing. He just can't stop laughing. He's laughing his ass off. Mm-hmm. And Barkley starts laughing. And then, then it, it was really cool. You got to look at it. You can see it on YouTube. It's really funny. Um, 
I hit the cam button. I don't know how I did that. Okay. You, 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 no, I heard everything you said. I'm yeah. sorry. You, I got to check. If you didn't see it, I'll send it to you later. It's very no, fun. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you usually always send me shit. Yeah, I that's very fun. All right, let's go to the NA. So that's tonight. You can watch at 830, uh, the the Nuggets game. Uh, Nuggets heat. NHL last night. Florida did, doing similarly coming from it's funny how they're both together down in southern Florida, South Florida. They come from the eight seed. They won a big one last night, game three, to make it two games to one overtime goal by Carter Verhage and um, three two win. So tomorrow is game four in Florida, and um, I still think Vegas is just the better. They're just better, you know. They're just about it. They're they're better. I've been, I've been paying attention to it. well stat wise more. Yeah. I, I watch it on my phone sometimes and bet if I bet on it for I'll watch yeah. it for a couple minutes, but. Which I had a nice seven legger that Jackie Aces cost me. I, I should have known better than to include him in it the other day. Oh, geez. And not this game, but the game before, I had a seven legger of all guys that I thought would at least have two shots on goal. Right. Boom, 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 boom. I nailed all of them, dude. And I'm like, why isn't Michael taking any shots? Was that like, the game he got knocked out? Yeah. But he or came he, back he, in, right? He came back on the third. He, yeah, he, he never, never took a shot on goal. He never took a shot on goal the whole game. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, I thought this guy scores fucking goals. Well, guy, he ruined my parlay, dude. I only put five bucks on it, but I would have won like 75 bucks because I had so many guys in there and I had every one of them, dude. And that's not. So I stopped betting hockey stuff. Yeah. Because I know well, it was my Florida futures bet. Game four. Um, you know, it's huge for that because they could, obviously, if they make it 2 2, then it's a best of three. What is going that. on with Bob Vrosky? What is the deal with this guy? Yeah, he's kind of hit the wall. He's uh, he played great last night, though. I'll give him that. He had a good well, game. The streak of playing awesome is now he's just back to being regular old goalie. The the first two games were rough, but then I thought last night he looked back to his normal form, like he was. So, you know, that might be tough for Vegas. I mean, no one scored again. They all they had to do was score three. They win every game three two in the playoffs. Every game they've won. I got to go back and look. It's had to have been. Three, two, or two, one, all the time. They don't score more than two or three goals. And um, I think I've been a couple bucks on betting on Aiden Hill saves. How many saves is over under on saves? I've been betting. I bet that a couple times, just a couple bucks. I won't just maybe double my money or something, but he's making money. Lot. Every <clears throat> save he makes, that guy. He's a he's young and he's a free he agent. Hits. He hits a lot. He yeah. hits his number. Well, I paid attention to what he was doing. I looked back at his average and what he was doing. I don't know, so I just kind of went with that. And he seems to. He's pretty good. He, He's usually right there. Oh, Robin's here. How you doing, Robin? Good. How you doing? Robin. Good. What's up, buddy? Scott. Aiden Hill, though, is making all kinds of money, Scott. You got to love it. He's a young, he's a, a rookie, and he's going to be a free he's agent. Making money. Uh, oh, he's going to. He's yeah. going to make yeah. all. Oh, goddamn right he is with the way he's been playing. How could he not? If he wins a Stanley Cup, somehow becomes, even if he isn't Con Smythe, it doesn't matter. No, if he's Con Smythe, he'll be even more. One going to be Con Smythe. Ooh, I, th- I I still lean towards Aiden Hill, but probably Marcisol. Marcisol. He's probably. There was good odds on him, but I couldn't bet him because they didn't offer it on FanDuel. Yeah. You can't bet on the MVP of it. And I, I didn't like go to another site. So I still think Aiden Hill could be. If I was, that's who I was going to bet was Marcisol and Aiden Hill. Those are the two. That's who I like. To. Like it looked like the Golden Knights right off the bat before the first game, hearing what everybody was going to say, everybody was saying about them, including you guys. I was like figuring out. And I was listening to them. They were talking about that. Some one of the one of the podcasts had the odds, and they brought up Mars Assault, and they brought up Aiden Hill because the odds were kind of high for those guys at that time before the series started. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, because Aiden Hill was high. Yeah, he's 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 a big guy, six foot six. Yeah, so that makes him really yeah. huge. On he's skates, a, he's a presence in the night. Yeah, it's but you know, and he fights too. He's probably you saw what he, when he was fighting with Kachuk. He's kind of a dude. Is he a real lean guy? What is he? He's he's, he's a lean guy Hashik, though. Or like like he's Hashik, a, he's, he's, Yeah, you know, he, yeah, I probably put him in the. He's probably six six two t- something, but he's not like two he's seven. More like a basketball three. player. Yeah, he's a thin guy. It's funny, all these goalies. You see him without their pads on, you're stunned. I've always been stuck, dude. I never realized that before, right? And when I saw Hashik, and I'm like, that that little dude, little obviously com- compared right. to what I really look like, right? I'm like, that, that little guy is stopping and doing it. Wow, 
I was like, holy shit. And then I started seeing other goalies out of their pads, and I'm like, wow, oh, okay. Well, they got to be bendy and straight. I understand why they'd have to be skinny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all of them. Like, even Patrick Waugh, probably one of the yeah. best of all time. He's tall. Now he's different. He's an older man. But before, he was – you see him, and he just – you think, oh, okay, he's a tall guy. That's it. He's your normal guy you'd see walking down the street. Right. Certainly in great shape and all that. But you're not seeing – and I, you're right. How could they be – Wowed nice? by him, right? Yeah. Which, so really cool. But all right, so that's the NHL. That's tomorrow hey, night. I got a tennis question for you. Oh, okay. I got to ask you about this, dude. And I have to bring it up, and I know it was on another show. It was on the Pat McAfee show, but I oh, still have cool. to bring it up because I've never seen this before, and I don't know if you're going to know what I'm talking about. Okay. But if you Google it, you will see it, okay? <clears throat> Not big on the on the tennis players. The Joker, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. He's playing tennis. Somebody, he looks over, I guess, at some people that must be his crew, uh-huh. right? They're in the crowd. They're in the crowd seats. First, like, three rows. They're kind of like a tr- like a, like a diamond shape, the way they're seated, right? Right. You see the guy, he takes out this bottle, right? There's a dude sitting here, dude sitting here. Dude sitting here is looking around. Old guy. He's looking around to see who's watching. Okay. This dude's... He's pouring something in there. He's pouring something else in there. He's mixing some shit up. I don't know what he's mixing or what he's doing. Yeah. Then there's a guy sitting next to him talking on the phone, but he's sitting like this. So you can see the guy making everything. The old guy next to him grabs him by the shoulder, points at the camera, moves him forward. So now he's blocking. So he's moved up. He's like this. Another guy's like this on the other side. And this guy's (laughs) shaking his thing. Hands it, hands it to this girl. The girl runs it over to him. I'm like, what the fuck did they, did, what did we just see? What was, what was that? What does the, what, what did you read? Was there anything? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I didn't hear an answer. That's bizarre. I didn't see the it. The weirdest shit I've ever seen, John. That's it looked like, I'm like, what is this guy got a fucking bartender in the crowd to do his makeup? <laughs> like yeah, got- that's wild. I got it. I got it. There's another thing I'll have to look up. I'll have to see that. Some tennis girl in a tennis skirt took it from the guy and ran it over to him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it was wild. You got to see the dude, you, the old man pushing the kid forward that's on the phone. Yeah. Like, you know, dude, move forward. You got to play. This is your time to block. Yeah. And then the guy literally is sitting all fucked up in his seat. Trying to and blocking everything that the dude's doing. Gotta you find got, out. Have to see it, Someone's gotta find out what the hell is going yeah, on. We there. need to know. We need to know yeah. what's going on at tennis. Fuck, I missed that. I would have loved to have seen that. I, I did not see that at all. What tennis is going on right now? What is it? There's some tournament, right? There's a big I don't know if I yeah, see it. Oh shit. They Connor said where they were at Twitter a lot. I can't I, I don't follow it much. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Oh, I'm cool. not a big tennis guy. Well, why don't we go to something else that I don't follow as much, but I follow this story. And we talked about it on this show, the live golf thing and PGA and PGA was very, very holier than everyone else. They weren't going to do nothing. They weren't going to do nothing and that blah, blah, blah. And uh, well, they did something. They have all came back together. Yeah. (laughs) Rory McIlroy. Wow. (laughs) Right. Mm. (sighs) If I'm, if I'm uh, what's his name? Who's the lefty? Why am I forgetting his name? The guy you like, the, Phil Mickelson. Phil Mickelson. I, I kind of would be laughing a little bit at everyone because this was going to happen. It was inevitable. How no. about Tiger not taking that eight hundred? Yeah. Was it billion? Eight hundred billion? billion? I think it was a million, almost a billion dollars. Almost a billion dollar contract. How about all those guys not taking any of those contracts? Stupid. That's generational wealth, right? It sure Your is. Kid- Kids, if you do it right, are it what? Yeah. Now you got to go, John. It's like asking you, hey man, we're closing the Chevy plant. You're gonna work at Ford because they're buying this place. You got a job or you don't? We'll pay right. thirty dollars an hour. No. Okay. That's what Chevy. Uh, yeah, guys, we're merging. Um, John, we're gonna start you at like fifteen. Yeah. They decided to come over before he's making twenty. Doing the same job as you. Sorry about it. That's right. That's no. suck, dude. I'm sure they're going to do right by them guys. They would have to, I would imagine. Well, they're because gonna, of the discrepancy and pay is going to be so different. I had heard I that. What you do. I heard that some of the guys had to pay the PGA some money. You know, the PGA is a non non for profit. I never knew that. 
That how does that how does that happen? Isn't that something? Did you know that, Robin? They're not. a non for profit. Yeah, that's a big. That's some kind of a scam. John, we need to create a non for profit. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. Everybody Definitely. else is getting rich using them. Why can't yeah. we? Right. Yeah, we could be a religion. We could do something. Oh Lord, dude, I could be a preacher. Yeah. Well, so now <laughs> that whole thing happens, and I said before that it pissed me off because the NHL, the NBA, the NFL, the uh, who was the other MLB all play games in China, whether it's exhibition, whether they broadcast in China, whether they do whatever they do. And they also, you know, obviously we know Nike's situation with China and all that. So many human rights violations go on in China, right? Oh, yep. We don't care about, we did not get angry over that, but this thing here, all hell broke loose over Saudi Arabia. They're the same, they're the same guys. Uh, a little bit extra there though, John. Did they or did did the nine eleven hijackers not come from there? Oh sure they did. I, oh yeah that, yeah that's, yeah they that's, that's there it is. There's your issue. That's what it is. Yeah, they did come from there. Now yeah. now Saudi the families. The PGA promised those families they weren't going to merge. Oh wow. They met. I guess families did that. <laughs> those families were pissed, wow. man. Wow. They're fucking mad, and I don't blame them. But they got to start it's finding rough. other things. There's a lot of things that Saudi has their their hands in in right. this country. Like they're gonna they have, to, have the most money in the world. Look, at, I mean, do these people boycott the NHL? Do they boycott the NBA? Do they say like even WWE goes over there, UFC goes over there? I'm talking about Saudi now. Um, it's just kind of, I don't know. It. I understand that a lot of money. Money. Just because they have all the money doesn't mean we have to let them have fucking everything, you know. And we give it to them. The places could say no because everybody's sell out. They're going to own everything at some yeah. point. We don't have to. They don't. These companies don't have to let them own everything. Some can take it on the shins and say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not letting you buy it. Because I'll tell you, dude. What are you going to do when they own everything and shit changes real quick? Yeah, well, we're lucky because think about growing up. And you'll remember this, of course. When it all started and everything became made in China, remember the whole thing? Yeah. I mean, everything yeah. went to that, and it's still there. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. Pick up know, anything on your, on your table. <laughs> it's all made I'll in China. Robert, it. Did you, no, oh, I thought you had something. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's an interesting – it was just the, the way it all finally ended is the way it might as well have just happened because it was going there anyways. I know, it's but the head of the BGA, you know what, dude? The biggest problem is, is how much he stood on that soapbox – and said all the shit that he said. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the biggest problem. He made such a big deal out of it. He called it blood money. I mean, mm -hmm. come on, dude. You can't you can't do that and then cave. No. no. I wonder if he was forced to cave. Like president. Oh. Okay. I wonder yeah, if like he was forced to cave. Yeah, I wonder. There's got to be a board, right? Yeah, got to be, right? Yeah, if they're not for profit, there's yeah. got to be a board. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they forced him. Maybe. Good chance. He should have quit. I don't know what he's doing. I just I said this when we talked before. The first time, it, the first time he brought it up, I just I I guess you want to if the if the nine eleven stuff is what they want to say. I mean, fine. I still, but then there's the when they tell me about human rights violations that I don't want to hear because they're all over the con they're all over the world and we we don't care. We do business with all kinds of places that yeah. do horrible shit to people. Terrible so, stuff. You can pick and choose who you hold accountable and who you don't. You either don't work with these people yes. or you right. work with these people. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's weird how the public allows some eh, – eh, whatever. You know how it goes. the 9-11 people because Saudi Arabia was not the only country involved okay. in that. Well, you know what else, too? The the 9-11 the people, and I, I feel sorry for them, of course. They lost yeah. loved ones. They should be angry at the United States government because they should have done something too. They they should right. have, things in, with Saudi Arabia should have changed. Absolutely, right. I and agree. We went the other way. I and, agree because they know, got oil. That's why yeah. and killed millions. Yeah, and then you want to know why that that group of people hate our hate us so much because yeah they took the brunt of what someone eh, whatever that, so we should have been on the political. Uh, yeah. Say we're really platform yeah this course is forcing us to talk politics oh, but you know what we're gonna do 
we're going to take a break because there's some NFL news. We got a little NFL kind of game we're going to play. But there are some big news. There's some signings. There's some cuts. There's some stuff. There's something I really want to ask you about one of the cuts. And I, I want to see what you're what you're going to say. I'm curious. Robin, okay. we're going to take a break. Okay. We'll be back. Let's get it going here. Where's our break? About a minute and a half only. Digits 988 can save a life. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The lifeline works. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. Welcome back to Spitball and Sports. Um, all right, a couple things in the NFL that I know you're going to know, Scott, but I want to get your – I'm going to want to get your opinion on. Um, first off, Frank Clark to Denver today. Um, I think you might be you might be muted, Scott. Sorry. Frank, that's okay. Frank Clark to Denver. And the edge rusher is working in. Yep, and then there is Leonard Floyd to Buffalo. Yeah. Before I ask you about the cuts, I want to ask you: Are you just found out about? Yeah, I just found out about Frank Clark myself. Yeah, I had no idea. Good, you know, Leonard Floyd for one year is a real good opera. Good, why not? Is basically what I say. What do you think? I know he didn't wasn't uh, you know star studded and spectacular when he was with Chicago, but he had some pretty good years with the Rams. If yeah, he can if he can produce that if he can repeat that production here, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I, I'll t- I'd love it. I don't think it's a bad deal at all. No, in, in Chicago, I, it, I think it gives our defense something it hasn't had. Yes, yeah, a little in, bit of pop in that area, right? I mean, hey, in Chicago, he had his moments because everyone was kind of a little upset that they never ca- they didn't keep him. There was some people that were like, geez, why are you letting them? Why are you Just trading like them? Sack production wasn't too huge. So I, I myself didn't follow them, obviously. Mm-hmm. So I go by the, his stats, and I saw that his sack numbers never really were. He was like about three, four sacks a year, it seemed like. Yeah, he had. He was always having pressure. He's he's a he's a, he's a, it was, he's a big guy. He's tall, the whole deal. Arm length, you know. I didn't look at pressures. I should have looked at that. I think, though – for Buffalo, one year you get him. If he doesn't work out, it does not matter. Like, okay, fine, who cares? Do you see what I mean? Like, there's no, there's no big. You're not, you're not on the hook for it's nothing. It gives them someone of that caliber that they haven't had in that position in a while. And give it a shot. Yeah, yeah I mean, why not? It's absolutely, a, man. It was. A, it's a smart one. His problem in Chicago was injuries. Injured. Injuries in Chicago. Yeah, I think I told uh, Scott he that online. He stayed healthy since he left, right? 
Yeah, I don't think he's had much in L.A. I don't recall. Yeah, I, yeah. nothing, nothing significant. I don't think he don't missed think. many games. No, yeah. nothing like it was in Chicago. And he was, he was the the Bears drafted him. It was a great pick. You know, yeah, that. did he have a nagging injury, or was it the was it different, or was it the same thing all the time? I believe one time he had an ankle, and I think another time there was a concussion in there. Okay, there was an ankle injury, and the concussion kept him out a long time. He got a let me let me think. He got a concussion on week ten and didn't come back until the last game of the like he was out for like six weeks with a concussion. Did he have multiple concussions prior to that? He may have, maybe in college. I don't even know. You know, I'm not sure because oh, he was. Well, he mentioned it at the time that he had had multiple concussions. I don't recall. He had a good year, I thought, with Khalil Mack that one year when they played together. Yeah. Now Mack got all this, you know, the price. Or he's Von Miller, so well, because he's going to have to work without Von probably for the first six weeks of the season, possibly. That'll be interesting to see how he does there, but he will be enough. I think to make other teams at least have to pay attention to him, which could Good. free up that's, other people. That's what so, I, that's all I want. And that's what I think he did with with Khalil Mack. Yeah, I think he helped him by free. He probably did that with Von Miller in in L.A. Where they because he is a freak. He's one of those guys that's got all the size and he's got the speed and he looks like he could be, you know, he's gonna die. He's gonna destroy you. Right. Um, so I wonder if Ed Oliver is gonna turn into uh, fat and lazy. That that really worries me. I don't know why they paid him. I don't know why they paid him. I thought he was going to get traded. Yeah, and I was glad. I didn't want Chicago to get him. They kept mentioning the Bears. I thought he was going. I thought he was going to go to Arizona. That'd have been perfect for the D Hop. I honestly thought that was what a trade was going to happen. And I was convinced. I never said it. I was convinced in my head that that was going to be the trade prior to the draft. Because I didn't think he. I thought he did something as Instagram bullshit. But none of the fans wanted him here. And they He's left, yeah. that well liked here because he doesn't do anything, man. He came with a yeah. No, I know. So much. I know. He's always hurt. I I will tell you they um, I think Leonard Floyd, but I, on Leonard Floyd, it's just a good. I, I it's one of those things where it doesn't. I, I just anyone that thinks anything other than this, it can't hurt. Why not? No. If oh. things go terribly wrong, you can let them go. It doesn't even matter. Right. Like, right. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't really hurt you. He said he's here because he wants a ring. So. That's similar to similar to Frank Clark to Denver. It's a it's no, there's no risk. The only Frank, thing you so see an edge rusher starting to go go away. There's that isn't there the other guy who used to play for Jacksonville? He's still out there. He's got like an African last name like Nagan uh, N G Ngaku. Yeah, Yannick, whatever. Yeah, Yannick, Yannick Ngaku. He's out there still. Yeah, he's a good one. He's going to come with a higher price than those two guys because he's. Well, guys are smart, dude. You know what? If you're a good veteran player and you're a good pass rusher. I would say, you know what, when you get to the, after you've gotten your first big contract, fuck that, I would go on one year's. Sure. Be that guy. Because uh, they'll pay you. You'll make a ton of money, you play one year. Move, boom, next year, go to the next contender. They seem to be kind of doing that now, right? They do, yeah. They do it more often than I've ever seen them do it before. Ever, yeah. They're coming with that same mindset. I want to win a ring, and it's easier for them to do it now. You know, because teams are more, more apt to sign those team-friendly not team friendly, but not super gigantor one year contracts. Definitely. And that's what's how, that's what's holding that also is a guy that wants a championship that isn't gonna make thirty million for one year, right? You know, you know what I mean. And that's what's holding back DeAndre Hopkins, obviously, is his price tag. That's why, why he's not on a team. Why would you say how important this is the, okay, hear me out for one second. Mm-hmm. You go and I don't mean just for Buffalo here. For right, anybody you go yeah. out there, right? You go out there. You slip it out that money wasn't a big deal, and then you delete it, right? But you slipped it out there. It was seen. Everybody saw it. You talk about how you want to win a championship. That's what you're about at this point. After all is said and done, it is all turned around, and it's all about the fucking money. He's going to look at the Patriots? Really? So they're DeAndre Hopkins away from going to the Super Bowl? I mean, are we really serious here? Well, he knew where Buffalo... These he guys know the bills and knew the situation. They they were under. Yeah. So Kansas city too, you couldn't yeah. go to either team if you were trying to do this. So why would you tell teams that there was no way they could sign you, that you wanted to play there and say it multiple times. I know. It wasn't just Buffalo. He mentioned, he mentioned Kansas city a couple times. There's other teams. And I'm like, dude, if you know, it's impossible, why do you keep pushing the issue? Right. And then you're going to say, I want 15 mil or whatever the hell he's looking to get. Like an asshole to me. I hope he fails wherever he goes. I hope he doesn't. Work. 
I know you know what chances are with and this sound I mean with his background and injuries and all that stuff I would you don't be surprised if he plays 10 games. So right. here's something that happened and I want to and Robin and you can jump in on this after I ask Scott too and maybe you're still going to agree with what Scott take a, on this. Delvin Cook gets cut and what does that do for Saquon Barkley? I wonder because you're starting to realize that they just don't give a damn about running backs. I mean, it just doesn't matter. Delvin Cook has made the Pro Bowl the last four years. This guy is a – he's a difference maker. If the Bears got him tomorrow, I'd be very happy. Oh, my God. I mean, this would be something I think would help fields, would help – and it would actually help them win games. They talk um, about him going to the Bills, but makes no sense when his brother finally yeah. gets the opportunity to start. Oh, he's going to go there and take it from him and relegate him to third down duty? I don't think so. That'll never happen. Never I happen. Really, I really think if there's a – Miami. Miami sounds the team, but there's others. Dallas could jump money. in this mix because as he goes, he has money. I mean, I know he wants. To, I guess I mean he put the I Dolphin think, thing in there or something. But I think they are they they have a, they have the money for Cook, but they didn't have it for De- De- Andre Hopkins. I know that. Why would they get? Why would they let him go? It's interesting, and they signed Madison, whatever the hell his name is. I don't um, get like why do they do? I, I I'd love to know. That's a really good question. I'd like to hear is it, why. Is it the injury? Is it something about that injury that maybe some te- that you're not no. going to know until he goes through his physical or something? He's been very injured, even when he was in Florida State. Oh, and really? He's, he's been sure. often. That was my whole thing with him. Every time I'd watch him play the Bears, it would be, and I think I used to say this to someone who was fantasy football related. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of time. But I, you know. He plays a whole season. So you ain't getting 18 ga- or 17 games out of him. Probably not. Probably not. That one year, though, that idiot, that coach fucked him up. They, I, I, they fired him. Who was the guy that they just fired? The the Vikings just fired the guy um, a couple years ago. I could still see his oh, name. Oh, Zimmer? It, what's or that? Zimmer. Um, Zimmer. Who's the coach? Yeah, Zimmer. Yeah, it was Zimmer. Zimmer, Zimmer. Zimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Remember yeah. Remember that Zimmer. game? They took Zimmer. him Zimmer. out. Like he had him. a thigh injury. And then yes. for no reason in the yeah, fourth quarter. And he just – and he got hurt, and he missed, like, the next four weeks. Yeah. It was yeah. That might have gave him that got him canned. I don't know, but it should have. Yeah, it should have got him canned. That's like it should have got someone in Chicago possibly fired after what they did to Fields last year. I mean, he was saying his legs didn't feel right because right. he had been running wild. It was the game after Buffalo. He says, "My legs don't feel right. My legs aren't feeling right." And here he goes. And next thing you know, he got you know he got injured. You know that? Yeah, he said, "My legs I aren't feeling." That. Right. When did you find that out? Oh, I, I heard it on the game that I was watching. Oh, and, you never brought it up on here. I didn't know that. Yeah, I just It just dawned on me that I remember them saying on the game, and it might have been before the Bills game. I think it might have been before the Bills game, where he's against Buffalo, against Chicago, where he, the you know, his legs, he whoever they talked to, you know, in the pregame. The medical staff? Who was it? The medical staff or was it the coach? Like who? It's a good question because I didn't mind them playing him. Okay, stay in the pocket a little more. Don't run. You can throw the ball. Just don't go. And then there he goes. He was doing those those oh, you know those set plays where he's like asking Josh Allen not to run. I, 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 you, that's part of his game. He it can't has he to be or else. that way. He can't. He doesn't know how to play differently. It's that's a very difficult thing to do is to try to get a guy a running quarterback to stop yeah, running. It makes them special. But what do you guys think it means for Saquon Barkley as he's sitting there? He doesn't want to play under the tag, you know. But I think he's going to. But he doesn't want to. I'm sure he doesn't. He wants to be traded terribly. He'll be gone. He'll be gone after the season. But do. You, Man, that's got to be a kick in the nut. Now, he's only 26 oh, years old. The Danny Dimes contract, how are they going to pay him? Injuries, too, by the way. And I don't know who's up next year for them, for the Giants. I'd have to also look at who's due for yeah. contracts. But they don't have the money. They're not going to have the money. And there's no way they're going to – no team is going to invest that kind of money in a running back. Saquon's going to want ridiculous money, so he's going to have to go somewhere where he's going to get a huge signing bonus and have a low cap hit. The big rumor that I keep seeing is Chicago. They they even showed me what the trade would look like today. They got that. Yeah, but would they give him some guaranteed money bonus? I, a small contract? Would they do that? They haven't spoke on that. Like, I didn't see any of that stuff. They just showed me that the Bears would give them, like, a couple third-round picks, a couple, maybe a second and 20-whatever, and for Barkley. I mean, it would – I would do it. I would do it, but I'm always concerned with his injuries. Yeah. Just, the happiness is having an owner – Who's got the money to give these guys guaranteed money? That's guaranteed the key. Money, yeah. That that's the guaranteed money is the key to your salary cap. That's why McAfee always says the salary cap's fake because it is. 
It is. The team where the owner has big pockets and is willing to use them. Like, Buffalo could totally sign DeAndre Hopkins right now if Pagula said, okay, give him this much guaranteed. Right. I mean, just like that, they could do it. I still Not wonder on that, on your on your bills, if really he was necessary and if so. they even really, if, like, I didn't see, now maybe you saw more. I didn't see anyone really trying to recruit him. Like, it was weird. Like, I didn't really see much about people. Like, I didn't see Stefan Diggs wanting him, like, saying Von on Twitter. Miller. No, wait a minute. Von Miller did. No, they didn't recruit him because Von Miller did it because uh, they made a bit of a thing about it. Um, Dawkins, he did it. Um, Josh Allen has been interviewed, and he just got it when he did his Madden interview. They asked him about it again. Um no, there's been a few of them. There was a few. It was just a little, and that was it. They didn't go on a fold. They're not keeping it going. Brandon Bean's been asked like three times. Right. McDermott was asked. Uh, you just wonder, man. Sometimes. Yeah, Brandon Bean gets asked too, at DeAndre Hopkins in every interview. Some Sometimes too many cooks spoil the soup or whatever that, that saying is. And you just wonder. But I think if he came in, Stefan Diggs would become a big problem. He might. He I might. guarantee you he would. Yeah, because Hopkins is a, he, he would. I guarantee you that's why they won't do it. Is because it's a smart it. move, smart because sure. Hopkins is a present, up, right? Man. Yeah, it'll be like stealing again. He already had this situation. This is his team now, which right, is, he's he's earned that right, yeah. right? With his play, he's earned the right for that to be his squad. You bring Hopkins in, it isn't his squad no more. I he's agree. Playing and he's one B, right? I, I think I think it would become a problem. I think you're right. I agree with that. I so here, here's this little game we want to do. I was gonna just pick some teams out randomly, and um, maybe between the three of us, we could think of their best three or five players, whatever we could think of. It doesn't matter what side of the ball. Are we not using the internet for this? We can. Oh yeah, you can use okay, the internet. Okay. I didn't oh, know if we were trying to do it out of the top, the top of our head. No, no, that'd be too much. Yeah, definitely get online, do something. via the internet, but we'll go with um. Let's pick a random team. Is this going to be now? What are we doing? The top what? Top. How about three? But if we want to go more than three, because we feel like there's more, we can. Okay. You know, type of thing. Let's go with the. Uh, let me see. Close my eyes. The New York Giants. Even though we we're talking about Barkley, let's talk about the Giants. Okay. Now you'd have to put Jones, obviously, as the quarterback of the team. Seems to have some. He's athletic. He's pretty good. He's decent. Yeah. So he's definitely one of their top three players has to be or top five sure. whatever yep. yeah saquon barkley goes into that mix too if he's on the team he certainly is right right guys you would say that mm -hmm. um after that the one guy i love on that team is that is that outside linebacker what's his name a kenyan tibido oh yeah i i really oh, like that guy that dude is so good for oregon yeah he's, he's awesome he's, that's an easy one to agree to agree with for sure so now after that you know who's on that team now, guys? I don't know if you realize it. Maybe you do. Darren Waller. Remember how good he was oh, wow. once? Is he really on that team? Yeah, he's on the Giants now. Remember how good he was? He was so dominating. And I don't know. I know there was injuries, but there seemed to be a little bit of off-the-field stuff. And, um, man. Well, the off-the-field shit with him was, you know what that was about, right? It wasn't I, any big off-the-field thing. I can't remember. It was legit about the coach being upset that he didn't invite him to his wedding. Oh, geez. Okay. Literally, that was what it was about. His wife even said something on, online about it. How foolish. I that they believed that, that would it, that's what it was about. Wow. Well, any, then you know what? This, <laughs> this guy's awfully good, Waller. We know how good he can, he can be if he's healthy. Hearing, yeah. I, I heard uh, Greg Olson was talking about him. He said that other than he's got Kelsey as his best tight end, he's his Waller's by far the second best. He said the guy is just – he's just so athletic that, you know, he hasn't had a lot of success because of the teams he's been on, but he's like, I'm telling you. I mean, he had success a couple years ago when they were throwing to him like a champ. He had all kinds of touchdowns. But yeah. oh, he, he, hurt, he got hurt this year, didn't he? He Especially did. Year? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because he missed a lot of time. I think he's yeah. gonna make the Giants. It, dude, he can make the Giants really good. He's a, definitely an upgrade. <laughs> Absolutely. How about this team? 
Um, because I, I just looked at them. The Green Bay Packers. I mean, Ooh. they're the tough one because obviously Aaron Jones. He's he's still a, he's still kind of a, he's one of their difference makers, right? Right. Um, sure. is Love in that mix? Jordan Love? Yeah, I don't know. He, I don't know. I mean, he's important, obviously. He can't be in that mix yet no. because we haven't. We don't know what he's, he's going to be able to do. Uh, you've got. I mean, if a, that's what I mean. They don't have much. Bakhtiari is a great offensive lineman, right? Say, he yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's gotta be that's got to be the next for them because. But is but he can't stay healthy, right? Yeah. I mean, he's got that knee issue, and he came back, and then all of a sudden he. He had an issue with it again. There's he was having issues coming back to uh come back to play. He played and then he went off to the sideline and then he came back again. Right. It was weird. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. Very weird. And then there's they see that even defensively, it's a weird team. I, I don't know. I, I was looking at the roster obviously for these teams kind of a little bit before we started, and uh I was having a hard time. Yeah. I was having a really hard time finding those guys that I would say that about, you know, like, you know, it's easy when you're looking at the giants, like some of them, but I don't see that on the, I, I'm having a hard, like even the receivers who Ryan Do- Dobbs or whatever his name is. Yeah. Uh, who's the other kid who made a lot of touchdowns, Christian something. I don't Watson. know. Watson. Right, right, right. I'd have to say he's probably, he's got to be number three instead of long. Yeah. I would you say probably, he's probably number three. I would go Watson Dobbs, any of, but you combine them together. Oh God. No, really, because there's yeah. nothing. There's nothing going on there. I mean, there's good guys that can tackle. They got some linebackers. Walkers, all right. Who who do you got over there, Robin? Jair, 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 Jair Alexander's pretty good. Jair yeah. Alexander's pretty good. Who's not? Back. Yes, he's pretty Devon, good. Devondre Campbell. That guy's good. Yeah, I mean, these guys are tackle. He can tackle. It was Romeo yeah. Dubs. That's who you were talking Romeo. about. Romeo. Okay. Yeah, him. All right. So that's AJ Dillon. I mean, they got Aaron Jones, AJ Dillon. Do they still have the two of them? I think AJ Dillon must still be there. I haven't heard him go anywhere. Right? Yeah, you haven't yeah. heard nothing. Not that I know of. Oh, no, he oh, is yeah. there. He is there. How's Lucas Van Ness, their defensive end? Is he any good? I didn't like I don't like he's the guy they just drafted, right? Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know. I thought he went too high. I mean that but well it's yet to be seen. I mean, but it, it just seemed a little high for him. But all right, Robin. Let's go to the AFC side. So I'm gonna pick blindly. All right. Okay. Baltimore. Um, we know Lamar Jackson will be on that list. So OBJ. Yeah. OBJ Roquan. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Does JK Dobbins get on that list? He can't stay healthy. Maybe he's close. Hey, on a side note, (laughs) did you see, uh, did you see Patrick queen in the, uh, in the commercial for Madden? Josh Allen, give you your props, bro. You got the cover of Madden. First time NFL fans have ever been on a Madden cover. That's awesome, right? And uh, and in the in the intro in the commercial for it, uh, Josh Allen's going into the end zone, and he's pushing Patrick Queen to the ground. Patrick Queen took to Twitter. He was like, "What? You know, what's going on? Why you gotta do that to me, man?" That's actually funny. I did not know. <laughs> yeah, he, he was. I mean, it was funny. He got all pissed about it. That is funny. And Queen's probably one of their top guys. Hey, uh, wow, tight end, Mark uh, Campbell, right? Andrews. Andrews, Andrews. I knew Andrews it was common. Yeah. I don't know why I said Campbell. Um, definitely, yes. Yeah. Isn't, isn't Tyler Linderbaum their tackle? Wasn't he supposed to – wasn't good. he the kid out of Iowa that, yes. that was supposed to be the best center in I, the country? I think he's good. Yeah. I think he's good. Yeah, yeah. He's played how well. Good, how good do you think Baltimore's going to be this year? Honestly. Uh, honestly. Well, got to remember whole new offense, good defense, very good defense. Whole um, new offense. You know, you know he's probably it's not going to be run heavy. I don't believe, but I don't know how you get away from that with him. It's a it's a what? It's a weak division. Um, I think they're going to be all right. It's a no. It's not weak. You got Cincinnati. You got Cleveland. You got Pittsburgh. Right? It's not weak. Cincinnati's there. Well, it's not weak at all. No, I was. You know, I I don't know why I was thinking it was the Tennessee division. Okay, so you got that. I, they're going to be on the cusp of a playoff berth, I think. I think they could be a wild card. Yeah, I, I think definitely, maybe. I could see them not. Could there be an opportunity? They don't. Sure, but do I you, think do you see. Do you see? Yeah. I guess I'm asking. Do you see Lamar really taking a big step this year because OBJ's there? Not because of OBJ. 
I really don't. I think you'd take a big step just because maybe it's a different offense or something. Offense court. He's got to show me something, man. Oh, he's, he's, play, he's playoff. He's playoff handicapped. Yes, he I can never make it past the first game. So the playoffs for him, he's got so many things to get off his back. It's not even funny. Because I, I hear so many. It. Everybody talks so great about the guy, but I'm like, I get it, but I don't get it because I'm not seeing it. I mean, I didn't watch him in college. I'm going on his NFL career. Yeah. Sure, he wows you here and there, but let me. And that's the media's fault. Like, I don't understand. And it, it, I said this about Mitch Trubisky. It wasn't his fault that he was drafted number two overall. Right. It wasn't his fault that they put all that pressure on somebody who didn't need, who didn't probably need it or deserve it. Right. Sometimes I feel like that way a little bit with Lamar Jackson. I mean, he's better than Trubisky, but like the media drives this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Constantly pushing him, pushing. It's not that he's pushing, they're pushing and probably mm-hmm. putting so, I mean, the pressure's high because he's, they want it so bad, the media. Yeah. And it's not happening yet. And um, they don't want to criticize the guy because they pushed him so hard. I feel it. This is the way oh, I feel. Sure, they were driving him crazy, dude. And I don't know if they do you a, they do a service to the guy because he comes from Louisville. It wasn't that big. You know, it's a big school. But, you know, they play in, the, in a smaller conference. Do you get what I'm saying? He comes in and, man, right off the bat, the minute Bill Polian said what he said, that was it. The place, yep. you know what I mean? They rallied around him because it was a the narrative got set and the mm-hmm. media went wild with it. And every time he fails, they have to try to, and I, this is the way I see it. They try to cover it. Like they yeah. try to give, give excuse to it. And I don't think the teammates, I, I don't think, I don't think the organization does. I don't think they feed into that. Maybe they do, but I like, I, here's what I'm saying. I think it was too long coming to make these changes that they've made. They should have made these changes for whatever they're doing now to try and change the offense. Should have done that a, a little bit ago. Three years ago, they should have did it, John. Yeah, yeah. They should yeah. have fired Greg Roman. He's horrible. He's terrible. He, he was offensive right. coordinator for Buffalo for a year. He was fucking terrible. We might see terrible. a better version. I, I mean, for me, I hope so. But I mean, whatever. If I remember correctly, he might have been the offensive coordinator that they fired in training camp. Yeah, yeah. He might, might, he I, might I, I'm not 100 percent on that. <laughs> But he might have been the guy, and I was shocked when I found out he was their offensive coordinator in Baltimore. I'm like, dude, he was a bum. He was terrible. He hadn't been good since – where was he at originally, like San Francisco or something, like years ago? Round and pound guy. Yeah. That's what he is. That's his That's his mentality. And how do you do that? All right, let's, dip in, let's pick another team. Random. I got, I got all the divisions here, Robin. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm just kind of going blind. Oh, we're on the Browns. Cleveland Browns. Oof. Watson, Cooper. I, it kills me to say that, but yeah. yeah. Watson, Cooper. I, these are off the top of my head because we know these guys. Line. Chubb and Garrett. Line. Garrett. Garrett. Yeah, Miles. And so there's four. Right out the there's the wideouts over there in Cleveland. I know they have Cooper. Um, they have that Peoples. What's his name? Jones. Peoples Jones. He's, well, he's pretty right. good. He's pretty. He took a yeah. step last year. He he made a name for himself. He's a good second guy to Amari Cooper. Yeah. Um, they and Chubb is really good. I think he's underrated. They be in the, uh, they, they're in the in the uh, Hopkins market. They probably are. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I know Deshaun Watson was trying to get him there. I think. Um, I think they could be a sneaky if Watson is any good. They could be a sneaky team to get into the playoffs and cause problems. Give Cincinnati have some issues in they, a, in regular season. They've got one of the best offensive lines. They in, do because they the league. they still have Conklin and those guys. No, they're a good team. They just got a quarterback who last year I, it was a waste of time, yeah. but now they've gotten away with it. So what happens this year? Because no one's going to say another word to them this year. I'm just sorry. I'm bringing up their depth chart for wide receivers. So, so it's, yeah, no. Okay, so they got Elijah Moore, or I'm sorry, no Elijah Moore. Yeah, they got Elijah Moore, Donovan People Jones, Amari Cooper. Who's their tight end? Oh, they got Noku. Him still? Okay. It looks like it. Did he? Ooh. I thought he left there. He has some. Oh, he has he his man. He has his moments. That guy. Najoku. Yes, yeah. I remember him from fantasy football, and then it's like, oh my god, he I disappeared. Thought he thought, I thought he was like awesome, and then all of a sudden he just shits out. He disappears. Yeah, I you know. know. You were putting up touchdowns, and now all of a sudden you're not there anymore. I think the Browns are a little bit of a uh, – they could be a wild card team that could be decent. Because I like that they have Chubb. They can run the ball. they got one of the best offensive lines. They 
They got some people there. We just don't know what Watson's going to do. Got to become the old Deshaun Watson, which he was not last year. No, it was so bad. So that's, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. I mean, because he stayed, he was out of football for a couple of years. So we're going to see what happens with that. I mean, let's he's um, there this year, but let's flip over to the NFC real quick. Try to grab another team. We can do this every week, even because I'm not going to get to all of them, but we could just keep picking and seeing, and maybe we'll go to the, some of the worst teams, like you were saying, an idea. <laughs> go with them. Let me go. NFC. My thumb is on San Francisco. Oh God! There's I mean, a lot. McCaffrey. Yeah. Ayuk. Uh, uh, Debo. Kittle, right? Yeah. Kittle McCaffrey. Debo uh, Samuel. Debo Samuel. I mean, no. I like Fred Warner. The the I Fred remember the Warner, linebacker. Yeah. yeah. Even Dre Greenlaw is good. And they got a Bosa there too. Yeah. Oh That's my God. Kid, Bosa, Javon Hargrave. Yeah. Wow, they got him too. Jesus, that I do. Are you? Can you imagine? And it's going to be Darnold. It's going to be on this. T- it's going to win for this team. Right. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know Feliciano went to the Forty ers Oh yeah, he's there. That's right. I saw that. Trent Sanford, Williams. Darnold's going to be the starter. Yeah. I don't think that. Well, it's going to be interesting yeah, because I, I think, think with the Jets, really you heard bad. what the what what Levon Bell said about what they did to him over there. It'll be right. interesting to see. Yeah. Brock Purdy's not ready. No. So. Dude, I'm telling you right now. Close, right? Okay, so John, <laughs> mm. let's say Brock Purdy can't come back till week five. If Sam Darnold is 5-0. and oh, He might. Yeah. Looks good, which I think he's going to. Let him play. How do you pull him out? I wouldn't. Not for Brock Purdy. No way. Because that's not somebody. You know what I mean. That's not like, you know, it's not like, uh, I don't even want to say like Josh Allen Mahomes, but it's not like. Because he proved it's a system deal. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's no the Raiders, it's a whole different ball game. Even like if it was a Garoppolo, you might think twice, okay, I'll put Garoppolo. You know what I mean? But it's really with Brock Purdy. I would Garoppolo's the biggest system quarterback in the world. Yeah. So I, I, I system. He's got the perfect team set up over there, though. An awesome defense and a phenomenal <laughs> superstar offense, other than the quarterback. Believable. Yeah, that all right. But, that. Everybody but the quarterback is are the stars on that team. I'm gonna go to the AFC for our last one. I'll go to the E. Uh... Well, Las, Ve- uh, Las Vegas Raiders is who I touched. Well, the okay. Raiders. Um, we know Devontae Adams is there still. It's Devontae Adams is number one. Jacobs is still decent. Josh Jacobs, I guess. Yep. Um, Hunter Renfro, pretty good. Yeah, he's not bad. Chandler Jones is there, right? Yeah. Max Crosby. I like him. Yes. A lot. He's a great player, man. I really like him, too. He reminds me of that Aiden Hutchinson with yeah. uh, the Lions, who I like, Michigan. too. Michigan, yeah. yeah. Chandler like Jones him. is over there. They're not – they should be. And it's Garoppolo, right? He's their starter, I believe. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but he's, is, is he – yeah, but is he going to be starting? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Right. Is he hurt? Is hurt? He, I don't even know what he is. Who's their backup? Who's the – I forget. Uh, Do you know? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, I can't freaking remember who they're bad. I tell you right now. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know. Duh. So who have we done? We did the Giants. We did the Giants. We did yeah. the Packers. We did just now the forty. The we did the Forty ers too. The Raiders. The Browns. Those are the teams we've done so far. And Baltimore. And Baltimore. Okay. That's six teams. So then next week we'll come back with some more. So they got Jimmy Garoppolo and Aiden O'Connell that they drafted. But oh, geez. I'm not seeing that. Why am I not? I don't even. Seeing that they have anybody else there. They got to have somebody else there. Yeah, I don't even. I have no access because I'm, you know what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> I can't imagine. Maybe that's all they I who knows? The Raiders are so weird. Who the hell knows with them? Yeah, I know. I, you know, I, I don't know. They I saw the Bears had I didn't even know the Bears backup quarterback was Walker, the guy that played for I can't remember his first freaking name. Yeah, I, I think he played for Carolina. Um, so that was interesting. I had no idea that was their backup. I okay, so you ready? Yeah. Here's what they got. Their quarterbacks are uh Jimmy Garoppolo, Brian Hoyer. That's Aiden O'Connell, 
and Chase Garbers. Brian Hoyer. Don't want to. Who wants to see him again? Oh, why have they not grabbed up a better backup quarterback? Very true. The guy the Bears have is better than Brian Hoyer. Oh, they are so Raiders. Yeah, <laughs> typical Raiders shit that they do. Terrible. All right, so we did six teams, Scott. We did the Giants, the Packers, the 49ers. We did the Browns, the Ravens, and the Raiders. We didn't do anything from the AFC East or the AFC South. We did nothing from the NFC uh, South. So maybe next week we'll come back and do four or five more or something. Okay, yeah. Don't we forget, we got, we're, we're very, very close to having absolutely nothing to talk about. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. So this is oh. good. But hopefully, hopefully, you know, the these sports keep giving because they generally do. Yeah. I mean, nobody's gotten arrested out of the NFL yet, have they? No, thankfully. Let's hey, hope they don't. It's, it's getting warm out, so that shit's coming. So we yeah. should have all kinds of fun in that department, see who gets doesn't play this season. <laughs> and I'm curious to see what John Morant gets when this finals are over. I'm dying to hear what and, the uh, commissioner is going to say. I heard they think it's going to be pretty bad because I guess yeah. the commissioner was pretty miffed with him. I'm wondering what else he saw. Then there's something we don't know because it's something beyond just what he did. Yeah, no doubt. The way he talked, it was like we have new developments. It was pretty. I don't know if it's just yeah, yeah, something for sure. Yeah, something else. So we're gonna find out. Yeah. All right. I'm curious about that. Uh, so tonight you're gonna watch basketball. What do you got? Anything? You got anything on this game tonight? I didn't even ask. I'll give it to you right now. All right, hold on. Let's do our. Th- I got at least give me money. Let me find the money. Hold on, music. Money, music. <laughs> All right, Scott, let's make money for people or try. All right. So this is what I'm rolling with. So this is so far tonight. This is okay. what I got. And I'm definitely betting this. Uh, I got Jamal Mur- Murray to score 20 plus points. Okay. Jamal Murray to record three plus made threes. Okay. Uh, and Nikola Jokic to record 12 plus rebounds. If you feel like adding to that, you can add to it right now. Very good. Oh, he froze up. I think Scott froze on us here. Yeah, Scott has frozen. All right, so we got his. Here's his picks. You ready? Ready. We got Murray plus twenty over twenty plus twenty points. Three or over threes. Jokic twelve or over rebounds. A nice three team parley, actually. Yeah. It's a good one. I think Scott is frozen. So, why don't we do this? I, for Scott, I will tell him, you know, I'll tell everybody goodbye. Yes. Robin, thank you for everything you do over there. Yes. And keeping the uh, kind of keeping this place uh, back going. on now. Oh, there he is. Hey, Scott. I have no idea what happened, dude. That's all right. So, we it's a good three I have my camera. I can't see anything, but you can hear me. So, that's yes, fine. Yes, I can hear you. Yep. Three team oh, parley looks go. good. Um, we're just going to sign off for next week. Yeah. What do you got going on this weekend? Anything fun? Anything good? Oh, yeah, 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 man. We're super psyched. It's our yearly thing. Tomorrow is Comic-Con, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Some of my going? boys, the boys, some of my, my, my show, some of those guys are going to be there. There's all kinds of characters. People from old, I'll explain it to people who don't understand. It's pretty much people from some of the hit TV shows and movies that are going right now. But mainly, it's mostly people from old movies, like the original Michael Myers guy will be there. The guy who plays uh, uh, Jason in Friday the Thirteenth will be there. Hellraiser, that guy will be there. Uh, there's just it's old actors. There's tons of them. The Trailer Park Boys are gonna are gonna be over there. Uh, old wrestlers too, right? There's He's tons old. of old female wrestlers are gonna be there. Rick, woo, Flair will be there. That's cool. Nice. I doubt I'll see him because generally somebody like Ric Flair won't be out there signing autographs. You paid a photo op. Mm. He's probably not going to be at a table. But if he is, I'm going to try to – I always try to sneak pics yeah. before I get thrown out. Right. My daughter's so, cosplaying, and my wife is wearing the lovely headpiece right now. <laughs> Are you – is it right across the bridge? She gets, right she gets dressed up. So see, oh, she's dressed up. You got to turn around. You got to turn around. Turn around. <laughs> <You're all right. laughs> she's got no makeup on, so she don't want anybody to see her. her face. But, yeah, my kid gets dressed up and goes over to it. Thank God we're not oh, in Florida because cool. she, you know, they, they think she's wearing drag or something. Right. But 
Because we're going to Canada. It's all good. Nice. Well, have a good time. What are we going to – you know what? I'm going to do nothing, just uh, nothing. i got podcasts like crazy tomorrow with uh, a couple other ones, and then I've got uh, – wrestling in the morning yeah so. i'm gonna watch the wrestling one after the fact just i'll have to watch the rerun of it just because i want to see that interview with uh big john studs kid excellent man all right i'll see you next week but i'll talk to you sooner i'm gonna send you that thing i want you to see that thing with yeah, Barclay. No, 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 definitely send it to me off off the all air right, scott take it easy okay guys bye bye bye